do believe today will be the last episode of the series because, as you know, the final of the actual Euros Euro 2016 has taken place very, very recently. I'm recording this a little late, so um, it's a few days after the final took place. But France versus Portugal, an insane game it was. Um, of course, as you know, if you don't know already, spoiler alert, um, Portugal won. Uh, one nil. It was an insane goal by Eder, um, and that's what won it for them. I do believe it was in the 109th minute, 110th, uh, around about there. But insane, insane stuff. I wouldn't say Portugal necessarily out and out deserved to win the final. I do believe France were the the better team on the night. They had a lot of chances. Um, they, had, they they should have been up 2-3-0 possibly on Portugal. But Raul Patricio came up so big and so clutch. Um, it, was, it was an incredible game to watch. So, with that all said, wow, really? It's just so typical. Okay, so with that said, we are doing something a little different today. Um, as you can see on screen, we do have four positions missing out of the team we've taken four players out which are of course um redmond who i do believe has transferred somewhere is it southampton can't quite remember but we've taken redmond out smith dyer and bertrand um dyer's actually done really quite well for the team but i feel because i want to replace him of course i'll, I'll explain that uh, in a in a second but it was either Drinkwater or Eric Dyer, and I do believe Drinkwater has done a whole lot better for the team. He hasn't scored as many goals, which doesn't really matter too much, but I feel he's been more of an influential player than Eric Dyer. So, could be the right or wrong decision, I, I don't really know. But what I was going to say is, this episode, we're not going to have any points at all. So, the whole point system has been totally scrapped for this sole episode and it, we're just going to go out and have some fun with this team and not really worry about scoring points um so i thought with that idea we're going to fill out the rest of the team with the best possible england players that i would have got if the series had have continued of course but let's start off with the goalkeeper of course that's going to be an english goalkeeper uh by the name of jack butland i've used this card previously in some tournaments and it's just it's just insane. Um, incredible, incredible goalkeeper. So moving on to the centre mid, we are going to have, of course, another English player by the name of Wayne Rooney. Could have gone with Jack Wheelchair, but, you know, the right mid is going to be, of course, another English player by the name of Theo Walcott playing for Arsenal. Um, I couldn't really find too many decent right mids that... I think they played um, in the actual Euros. I think they played Delhi Ali on, on the right mid. So, you know, there wasn't really too many options. But the last position today is going to go to the international man of the match, the European legend, Ashley Cole. Um, just, I can't, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. This team looks so incredible. So, of course, like I mentioned we are just going to go out and have some fun with this team and see how things go. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking I'm looking forward to this. So with all that said, let's jump into the first game today. All right. So first opponent today comes up with a BPL squad. He's got Sturridge, uh, Oxlade Chamberlain. He's got the international man of the match, Ramsey, Ozil, Torre, Otamendi, Koscielny. Decent looking team. Um, Such an important position quite surprised because I'm playing uh, quite late uh, today, so I'm quite surprised we actually side. found anybody in uh, well single matches at all. Okay, Carl Walker, wait, right. Carl Walker, get in there. Oh, I was going to cut back inside. Got the foul though. I'll take it. Um, we are going to take it with I do believe Wayne Rooney. Um, probably the better option. May, may not be such a good idea to go straight for goal with this, but wasn't too far off. 
I mean, at least we don't have Kane in our team, so... Oh, my good lord. Wayne Rooney, please. Please, for the love of God. Daniel Sturridge, is he injured? No, he's alive. Okay. It's one bonus. Daniel Sturridge? No! What is wrong with him, honestly? He's been so bad. Like, so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't actually believe that. I don't know if you could see Jamie Vardy making the, the run on the outside or the inside rather that's a penalty are you actually having a laugh okay all right i don't know if he intentionally meant to do that but he kind of uh kind of just full powered it so he did thank you i, I do appreciate that there we go daniel sturridge breaking through break hearts in the last minute or minutes of the game. There you are. Oh, Daniel Sturridge came up big when we needed it to. He's been atrocious for the entire game. Holy Christ. Good save by Jack Butland. I, uh, I didn't really know what happened there, to be honest. There we go. Pass it off to Wayne Rooney. Have I kind of screwed it? I don't know. Oh. There we go. It's got to be two. What? No way. I don't believe it. I do not believe it at all. I'm trying to take it slow with um, Daniel Sturridge. But, oh, I see it. There we are. Second goal for Daniel Sturridge. I saw the run. A little bit unselfish, so... There you go. That has to be game over. Unfortunate, because this guy has been, I would say, probably the much better player. But Jack Butland has come up so big. And that is game. So we win our first game today with this team. 2-0. Um, I'm just going to have a look on the statistics to see what we would have actually got. So we would have got two assists, two goals, a clean sheet as well. I think that's probably our only... If not one of our only clean sheets in the entire series. Um, so very, very happy with that. Daniel Sturridge getting both goals. Absolutely incredible. His team is... Oh my good lord. Zanetti Effenberg has got the... Uh, Kaka. He's got Neymar. He's got him up at striker as well. Coke. Douglas Costa. Um... I forgot who's that guy. Who's the centre back from Atletico Madrid? I've forgotten his name. I can't. It, I can't think of it. He's also got Felipe Luiz, team of the season. It's just insane. Thank God that wasn't my player who was, um, who was tackling him then. Otherwise, that probably would have been penalty, no doubt. There we are. Up to Raheem Sterling. going to pass it up to Daniel Sturridge. Over the top at two. No. Yes, come on. Oh my days. The audacity. The audacity to do a a back heel of all goals. Just just insane. I don't know what Manuel Neuer was doing, but he just kind of parried it and put it straight to Jamie Vardy. He's just gonna put it in the back of the net. What the fuck? It, it, what? No way does it class as a Felipe Luiz own goal. I... No, I'm sorry. Wait, one second. So, it classes as an own goal, yet my player is the one who back it into the back of the net. How does that make any sense at all? How does that make any sense? It doesn't, is the answer. It just doesn't. Great inception by um, Chris Smalling. Of all people, would you... Oh, my God. Jamie Vardy's through. He missed... He missed. He missed. A 91 rated strike with 90 something shooting. Missed the net entirely. Good. Great. Good to know my team is performing just as good as the England Euro 2016 team. And by the way, that's not good. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, oh my god, what is happening? Should be two, and it's two, there you go. Daniel Sturridge showing, um, Rahim Sterling, well, showing Jamie Vardy how it's done. I don't know what he was doing, but I stood there, I, I stood there with his defender for about a good 20 seconds maybe, and he still passed it to me. So, I mean, I don't know how I didn't score with Jamie Vardy anyway, but we get the goal, we get the goal, and that's all. Are you going to quit, really? With your team, you better not quit. Oh, well, this guy. This guy on the pause button is just best of friends at the moment. Can you be best of friends with the forfeit? Is he actually forfeit the match, really? He took my advice. He became best of friends with the forfeit button. And he's quit. This guy has quit with... Well, it seems like he's quit anyway. Uh, yep, there you are. This guy has quit because he couldn't take losing 2-0... To a full English team when he had that kind of team. Incredible. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. So, second win of the day. Again, we're going we're gonna to have another look at his team. Because, like, you've got two legends. You've got God knows how many team in the seasons. Shame on you. So, this guy's got a really good team as well. Okay. Um... I didn't really expect that. So he's got Lewandowski. He's got Robin Neymar. Legend Fowler in, in the cam position. He's got Vidal, Iniesta, Inform Mustafi. Boateng. Very interesting team, actually. Um, a lot of good use Welcome for the everybody. national Alex links instead of club me. links. Nice very, very interesting squad. I would assume this guy's pretty good if he's quite intelligent in the way of making squads. So um, assumptions have been made. I expect him to somewhat win. Um, Here's a chance to attack. Crossed it well. Leveled up him with a header. Okay, all right. Well, there you are. Coming in midfield. Made the intervention. And now maybe he can push oh, the no. Face the I, yeah. I screwed up. Screwed up. Be honest, though, I just can't be asked anymore. I legit can't be asked. This team is so atrocious. It's playing so bad. And I'm, I'm doing everything I can to to kind of get everything working. My controller's freaking broken as well. Okay, sick. My controller is stuck on sprint. This is going to be fun. I can't stop sprinting with my players now. Pass it away. I can't. Hang on. There we go. That fixed That fixed my controller. Who would have thought it? Oh, um, hello, Gary Cahill. I can't be asked. I can't be asked. No. No, cannot be asked anymore. Cannot be asked. I'm pretty sure I tackled him there. Fairly sure that's what happened. No? Okay. No, you're just gonna you're just gonna run past my entire team and score. Our best player was um was Jamie Vardy. Which is very surprising. Very surprising team assuming the whole team played like trash. It's really annoying. It's really annoying and I'm very frustrated about it because the team it's played so well. Like it's played so well in other games. But then, like certain days, it'll just it just won't play together, and it's very strange. I don't understand quite how that works. But that is the team. That is the team that we've just played with. It's played, I would say, mostly bad. Um, a lot of good upsides were Carl Walker and Ashley Cole. Even though Ashley Cole probably isn't the most ideal left back because he only does have two star weak foot, three star skills. Um, He's got 92 pace, 82 dribbling, 86 defending, 78 physical. So definitely a very good all-rounded kind of statted card. Um, I really personally enjoyed him. Chris Smalling in the last game really disappointed. So I'm not sure why his 82 felt better than his 88. Um, another very strange thing. Um, Carl Walker, on the other hand, actually played really well throughout the entire series when we actually got him um even though he does only have two star weak foot two star skills he was very very good tackle the ball held up um held up possession because obviously with his uh with his strength um very very decent player i paid 121k for him i do believe he has gone up in price so he wow okay okay so he's <laughs> so he's he's going for 750k apparently I'll, uh, I'll actually keep an eye on that to see how much he goes for because 
if I do decide to sell him, which I'm kind of tempted to kind of get rid of the team. I'm kind of tempted to get rid of the team because it is kind of our last episode. Um, even though we do have, I do believe, if I can quickly check, we do have a few England games for the FIFA World Cup 2018 qualifier starting in September through October, November. Um, and that's pretty much it for 2016. So we'll definitely bring this series back. We'll, we'll definitely bring this team back. It might not be in the same shape as, as you see it right now. Obviously, without the international man of the matches, team of the seasons, not straight away anyway. Uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if Marcus Rashford comes into FIFA 17, which he definitely should do. And it'll be very exciting to put him in this team. So looking forward to that, we've got Kaka, got Podolski coming um, and a few others that I've got planned, which I'm not going to spoil just yet because I don't know what's been uploaded uh, quite recently. But I've got a few very exciting plans. Hopefully you stick along for the ride. Flea, this will be back in FIFA 17. But with all that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.